In simple terms, the story is of a feeble ruler with a bad councillor and three good councillors. The bad councillor and the good councillors are at war with each other, and the leader of the good councillors, who is named Zhao Dun, comes into conflict with the evil councillor, who, in order to obliterate his influence, massacres his entire clan. One child survives, the orphan of Zhao. He's a baby, and he's smuggled out. And the story is of the, the men and women who sacrifice their lives to uh, keep this baby alive. In China, the play is regarded as a great classic. It's done as frequently as we might do Romeo and Juliet. I had the great good fortune to visit China recently for a research trip. And while I was there, I came across four different productions. I think it has Shakespearean complexity, Shakespearean scale. It's a, an extraordinarily epic story. And some of that extra genius. It was probably written in sort of the 12th or 13th century about events that take place in a period of Chinese history called the Spring and Autumn period, which is between the 7th and 4th century BC. So here we have a, a sort of medieval Chinese play written about an ancient period of China. It was published in 1616 uh, in the Ming Dynasty, in the latter days of the Ming Dynasty. Like a, a great Shakespeare play, it can relate both to its own period and to, to our own. It is both about the time of Henry V and the time of Elizabeth I, and if it's good, it's about our time as well. And I think the same with The Orphan of Zhao. I think the Chinese now regard the greatness of the play as being that it is a metaphor for resisting tyranny of any kind. So you could translate The Orphan of Zhao in Nazi Germany, um, you could translate it in all sorts of periods of history because it is about the capacity of the human spirit to stand up um, against all odds and, and resist evil. The experience of watching the play will be a very original experience. I don't think we've ever seen anything quite like this. Uh, certainly the RSC have never done anything like this. We've never done a Chinese play before. I think there is some beautiful poetry which has been re-translated, reconceived by James Fenton. And it's wonderful to have James Fenton back working for the RSC. That's why the, the Orphan of Zhao has such astonishing universality and why I'm delighted to be able, with the RSC, to, to be introducing this um, to, to, well, to the UK at least.